Hey, this is Eugene Matthews, and welcome to class for homework 7.1, Circumference and Area of Circles. Watch the video, go ahead, check off, it's due tomorrow, practice homework. So, uh, let's do the notes first. A circle uh, has many parts, including a radius, which goes halfway across the circle. So, let's draw a radius here. If here's the center of the circle, something that goes halfway across is called a radius, labeled R. A diameter, which is a full length across the circle so if we go all the way through uh, we have a diameter and lastly uh, a circumference which you can think of almost as like perimeter or the distance around the circle so if we go all the way around the circle and we want to find that distance like that uh, it's called the circumference Okay, uh, so uh, we're going to find out something cool about circles here. It says determine the ratio of the circumference in the circle to its diameter. So if we take 6.28, excuse me, its circumference, and we divide it by 2, its diameter, let's see what we get. 6.28 uh, divided by 2 gives us 3.14. Hmm, interesting. 12.56 divided by its diameter of 4, you get 3.14. Interesting. 21.98 divided by 7, you get 3.14. Um, hopefully you're seeing a pattern, right? So the ratio between the circumference and the diameter is represented by pi, uh, which is approximated to 3.14. So this is where this magical number pi comes from, right? So uh, the formula for circumference can be said in two different ways. The circumference of a circle or the distance around a circle is 2 times pi, or 3.14, times the radius, or the circumference is simply pi times the diameter. Now this makes sense because if you go back to our picture here, the radius is half of a diameter. So if I have a radius, let's multiply it by 2, and then I'll get a diameter, right? So if I have a radius, then it's just 2 pi r, um, or if I have a diameter, it's just pi d. So uh, for circle number 1, Notice here, I have a radius, a radius of 6. It only goes halfway across the circle. So the formula I'm going to use is C is equal to 2 pi r. Now I'm going to plug in the numbers that I know. So C is equal to 2 times 3.14, that stands for pi, times my radius, times 6. My circumference is then equal to 37.68 after I multiply those three numbers. Okay, circle number two. I got my formula. Uh, notice this time I have a diameter. It goes all the way through the circle. So that's 14. So my uh, formula is C is equal to just pi D. Much easier formula. So C is equal to what's pi? 3.14 times what's my diameter? 14. In this case, my circumference or the distance around my circle is 43. 0.96, and I forgot to put centimeters. I should have put inches on this one. All right, uh, you're going to do number three in Ed Puzzle. The formula for the area of a circle can be derived uh, by splitting the circle into smaller segments. So where we have this dotted line, all of these are radii of the circle. So you have the radii of the circle. You'll know each one of these is equal to half the circumference. So you'll have that all of those equal to half the circumference. Excuse me, all of these together are equal to half their circumference. And so from here all the way to here. So the area of a circle can be derived as one half their circumference times the radius. And now we can break this one half their circumference. Well, we can break that down into one half. The circumference is simply times two pi r times the radius. And then 1 half times 2 actually is just 1. So we get pi times r times r, or we get our area formula as just simply pi r squared. r times r giving us r squared. So area is the surface measurement of a two-dimensional figure. So it's all the space inside, where circumference was all the space on the outside, area is all the space on the inside. It's like how many one by one squares can I make? Take a look at circle number four. 
here are all these one by one squares. Now the problem with circles is, notice how some of these squares don't get filled in all the way. So hence why we have our area formula. So the formula is A is equal to pi times the radius squared. And so we plug in our numbers. A is equal to 3.14 times our radius in this case is three. How did we get three? Because here's the center of the circle and it is one, two, three units away from the center of the circle. So is equal to 3.14 times three squared. Remember, uh, three squared is really three times three, which is nine. So in this case, when you do your multiplication, area is equal to 28.26 inches, and all area units will always be squared. That doesn't mean you take 28.26 and square it. This is your answer, 28.26 inches squared, but that just means you could fit 28.26 one by one squares inside that circle. Let's do one more. Uh, we've got uh, our formula for the area of a circle in number two, area is equal to pi r squared. Now here's the problem, you have a diameter. So if your diameter is equal to 10, you need a radius for this formula. So your radius is just simply half the diameter. Half of 10 is five. So area is equal to 3.14 times five squared. 5 squared is going to be really 5 times 5, so 3.14 times 25, so area is equal to 78.5 centimeters squared. All right, number six, you'll do an Ed puzzle. And then the rest for homework, uh, you've got four problems here of finding the circumference and the area, uh, showing all work just like I've done on the previous problems.